Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the domain and range of absolute value functions. So the first few pages you're going to take notes with me, and then there'll be a chance for you to try some problems on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so let's just briefly review just what exactly is the domain and range again of a function. Okay, so the domain of a function is the complete set of possible x values of a function. And then the range of a function is the complete set of all possible y values of the function. And the key word here is possible. So basically all the possible x values are the domain and all the possible y values are the range. So please underline those, those two words. So let's scroll down and we're going to determine the domain and range of two graphs and then also two equations. So here we have a absolute value uh, function and let's figure out what the, the what the domain is going to be. All right. So remember, the domain is going to be all the possible x values. So, for example, the point right here would be x is one, and the point right here would be x is two, and so on. And no matter what, remember this line goes off in both directions forever. So no matter where we are on the on the graph, okay, there's going to be an x value. So that means the domain is going to be all real numbers. All real numbers. Now the range, okay, the range is, again is, is a set of all the y values. All right, and it's important to look at where the uh, the vertex is. So the vertex is right at the origin at zero zero. Okay, so that means the y values begin at zero, going upward. All right, again, there's no, there's no values down here for y, right? So the range is going to be y is going to be greater than or equal to zero. Okay. So again, at this point right here, we know that the y value is 3. At this point right here, the y value is 2. At this point right here, we know the y value is 1. But down here, there's no y values. So the range is going to be greater than or equal to 0. Now for this one, um, we have a different y-intercept. The y-intercept is at 2. Okay. Um, so the domain is going to be the same. It's going to be all real numbers. But the range, okay, the y values begin, okay, at 2. So it goes 2, 3, 4, and so on. So the range is going to be y is going to be greater than or equal to 2. So again, the previous problem, it started at 0 because the, the vertex is right at 0, okay? Here, the vertex is right at, at 2. So let's try a couple more problems. And this time we're talking about equations, okay? Now, these aren't graphed but we can still figure out what the domain and range is going to be. So for the domain of this, uh, the absolute value of x plus 6, the main, again, is going to be all real numbers. And then for the range, now the range value, remember this plus 6 is going to shift the graph to up 6 spots. Okay. So that means the range is going to be y is going to be greater than or equal to 6. All right. Now, for this one, we have uh, f of x equals the absolute value of x plus 4. Okay. Again, the domain, to take all the others, is going to be all real numbers. And for the range, well, this x plus 4, this, because this is inside the absolute value sign, it's going to shift the graph four spots to the left, right? Because it's not going up and down, okay? Um, the the vertex is going to be right at the on the x-axis, okay? So that means the range is going to be y is going to be greater than or equal to zero, all right? So if this is a little bit unclear, I recommend going to Desmos.com, okay, and typing in these equations, and then you can see for yourself how the domain values are all the real numbers. And then for this function, the range is uh, greater than or equal to 6. And then for this function, it's uh, y is greater than or equal to 0. All right. So now that you have a little better understanding of the domain range of an absolute value function, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, uh, hit play. You can see how you did. All right. Good luck.
All right, welcome back. Let's say I do with these practice problems. So here we have an absolute value function, all right, that's going downward. Um, but that doesn't really impact our domain at all, all right? The domain, again, is going to be all real numbers. And the range, okay, the y values start at 3 and go down from there, okay? So for the range, our range is going to be, y is going to be less than or equal to 3. Um, now for this one, um, f of x equals the absolute value of x minus 10. Again, the domain is going to be all real numbers. But this negative 10 is going to shift the graph, okay, to the right 10 spots, okay? But it's not going to bring it up or down, okay? So because of that, the range is going to be, y is going to be greater than or equal to 0. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?